Hey guys, so in today's episode we will add a gun mesh to our player and we will also add the, the weapon sway effect as you can see when I move around the camera or the uh, player We have this like smooth trans transformation between our mouse movement and also the uh, gun mesh movement, okay? And so we will do all of that in today's episode so before I finally start this episode, let me quickly explain to you guys why I haven't been uploading a new episode since March 31. So I will actually plan to upload episode 8, so basically this episode much earlier, but I wasn't able to do that because I basically cleaned up my desktop machine after I was finished with that. For some reason I couldn't turn on uh, my computer anymore. And so I checked if the graphic card is sitting in the slot correctly and the RAM and if the power cord is connected correctly to the power supply and all the obvious things that could cause this issue. And I couldn't figure it out. My computer was not turning on anymore. And so today I basically searched for a guy just in case I didn't miss a point. And turned out that actually on your motherboard there's the small battery. And they stated in this guide that sometimes when there is dirt on the battery or if it's not sitting correctly in the slot, uh, your computer won't turn on anymore. And I simply removed the battery, cleaned it up, put it in again, and my computer is running again. So yeah, just in case your computer won't turn on in the future, make sure that the battery is clean and that it sits uh, correctly in the slot because it can cause this issue. Something I wouldn't come up with to be honest. And so yeah, let's head over to uh, unity and then make sure to head over to the asset store and again if you can see the asset store make sure to head over to window asset store and then just drag and drop that here to the top and then s search for the low poly fps pack from david stanford and this is actually a complete project so this means not only you get the uh, like guns gun meshes and animations and things like that but you can, uh, get a first person control script a shooting script explosion script and things like that uh, pretty awesome stuff but we want won't use any of these scripts because obviously in this series we want to learn or see how we can create our first person uh, project uh, completely from scratch on our own. So we will only use the uh, gun mesh and the animations that come with this package. So make sure to download that and import that to your project. I already have done that so simply pause your um, the video once you are finished you can start again. And the next thing we need to do is to uh, create a prefab okay so let's head over here to the low poly um, folder and again here are these test scenes and prefabs you can play around with that if you want to but um, again we only want to we are only interested in the component folder uh, because there we can find inside meshes arms assault rifle so here we can find the assault rifle and then what I did is basically I just dragged and dropped that to our gun hold okay like so and then let's head over to our scene. As you can see, we have now here a gun. And make sure that it sits at zero in all directions. And what I also did is I scaled it up to 1.5 in all directions. Um, simply because I think it looks a little bit better, but you can use here any value you want, so it doesn't really matter. Once you have like found the scale that makes sense for you, by the way, you can always uh, drag and drop your game window here to your right side and this way you can basically um, tell how it would look like inside your game okay um, since I already did that I don't need to do that once you have found like a scale that you prefer that you want to use make sure to add your over to the asset window again and simply drag and drop that here to the window uh, this will create a new prefab just like we did with our gun placeholders and I already did that just like I said and then you can remove the arm assault rifle from the scene and then I also changed the gun hold to this position simply because I think this way it looks better simply retype that and once you have done that we can then head over to our shooting script and then all I did here is first off I changed here the public uh, the game object from our serialized feed to a public game object gun mesh and I will explain this in just a moment and then what I also did is actually have I changed here anything? No, I haven't. So with our system, we don't actually need to do anything. The only thing that we need to do in order to make this fine work is to head over to the weapon database and then simply drag and drop the um, prefab 
to our weapon mesh okay so I already did that as you can see and with our system we don't need to do anything else just like I said this will be a complete dynamic system where we can easily create new weapons and also easily change the weapon mesh and things like that just like it should be right because when you create a project you don't want to like spend too much time playing around with things like that that should work just uh, right out of the box I would say so when I hit now play you would see you will see that um, we will have the uh, gun mesh now attached to our player and there we go. now let's take care of the weapon sway because that's something we want to do as well and so I already created that script and it's pretty much straightforward all I did was to create um, let's see I can remove the new position here so I created just the vector 3 which is the original position and then I also created a serious serialized field for the shooting script and then I grab the shoot script by saying get component shooting since it's attached to the same game object as the script and then I set it also in the start function the original position which will be the shoot script gun game mesh transform local position okay and inside the update function what I did was to simply create the movement y set it to equal to input get access mouse y multiplied by the amount which is the float that I create here at the top and I did the same for the X movement okay and then I clamped that so I said movement Y equals to math clamp movement Y and then for my for the minus where you I said minus max amount and for the plus where you max amount so I create here this float as well and I repeat that for the X value and then I created a new fine position and made this equal to um, a new vector 3 with the movement x in the x direction, movement y in the y direction, and zero for the z direction. And then I applied that to the shoot script gun game mesh transform local position. Okay. And here I used vector 3 lerp. And so lerp will, as you can see, take one vector, a second vector, and then use a float to interpolate uh, between uh, these two points. So for the first initial position, we simply use uh, the transform local position. And then for the final position, we use the original position that we have declared here inside the star function. And then we apply a plus here with the final position, okay? And this final position is determined by the movement X and Y. So when we move our mouse, we change these directions, right? And we want to apply that to our final gun game mesh since this is attached to our camera and then we simply add here the smoothness so again I just create here at the top a new float called smoothness and I simply use here time multiplied by uh, time data time multiplied by the smoothness and so all this together will result in a weapon sway okay um, it's pretty much straightforward um, I don't think there's like anything that's not that it's unclear if there's something unclear make sure to use the comment section and ask me if something was not clear but once you have retyped that you can then simply hit play and this will then add the weapons way to whatever gun uh, you currently have inside your weapon database or the gun that is currently active so when I move around and for some reason my computer is a little bit laggy um, I wonder if that has something to do with the fact that I cleaned up my desktop machine. Seems like something is a little bit off. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I will probably restart my, my uh, computer, but now it seems to be a little bit more smoother. There we go. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it kind of works. Again, I have some lag issues on my side, but on your side, this should be smooth. And you can, of course, play around with these values here and change them to any values you, you prefer, as always. So you don't have to use the same values as I do. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for today's episode. I know it's been a really um, short episode, I would say. But um, it's pretty much straightforward, right? With our current system, like we have done already a lot of work. And that's why we can now simply just, for example, drag and drop the gun mesh. So again, you can use any gun mesh you actually want for your project. All you have to do is to um, like create or use the gun hold, adjust the position, and then drag and drop that 
to the to the weapon database uh, gun mesh okay or weapon mesh and with that it will be automatically rendered and attached to the player and again the weapons way is also pretty much straightforward I would say so I will wrap up here this um, really quick uh, episode I would say um, and in the next episode we will finally take care um, of I would say the animations because right now when we hit play we have no animations or whatsoever attached to our player so we will add a complete animation system that will render or play animations based on the player input so for example when we shoot we will play the shoot animation and so on and so on okay so with that being said thanks for watching as always if you enjoyed make sure to like it make sure to subscribe and yeah thanks for watching and see you maybe next time bye